It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Daniel Bell has been at it again. He sent us a lovely hot sauce to review. This is from Bravado Spice Company, and this is their Black Garlic Carolina Reaper hot sauce. Check that out. I can't just drink the bottle on its own, so I'm gonna be using today some Iceland hash brown fries. I really like the sound of these. 1.3 kilogram bag. You can deep fat fry them between four and six minutes or 18 to 20 minutes in the oven. I'm just gonna get this bag open. So I decided, of course, to use the wonderful air fryer. First of all, I wanna show you what these look like. I'm interested to see what they look like as well. There they are. Look at them. Everybody loves the hat. Who doesn't like a hash brown? Who doesn't like hash browns and hot sauce? Here we go. Here's the... Uh... Here's the awkward camera angle again. Right, here we go. This time, this time. Here we go. So I'm going to put it... I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna chuck some more in because I'm um, a bit packaged today. Fifteen to twelve, eighteen to twenty minutes, I reckon. Air fryer. Well, Abby's done in fifteen, I reckon, easily. So, um, yeah, this is the hot sauce. The air fryer is on. Uh, come back to us when all of this wonderful food is cooked. Right, these hash brown fries are about ready. Oh, look at them. Don't they look really good? That's not a bad dinner, is it, eh? I like Iceland because they just keep reinventing the wheel, don't they? Everybody likes a hash brown. But I mean, hash brown fries, look at them. So, golden colored, as you would imagine. They went in for about 13 minutes. Look at that golden crispiness going on there. <clears throat> Boiling hot. The potato, yeah, yeah, that potato is definitely hash brown, isn't it? It's... I have washed my hands. Excuse me for the slightly dirty hands. I have washed them properly. I've been out in the garden working again. Oh, they're really tasty. Mm. Mm. Really lovely, crispy, coated fries. Do you know what they remind me of in a really weird way? The last few years, everything, well, not everything, but there's a few things that have been coated in stuff. If you think of coated peanuts, I love a coated peanut now, the chilli coated peanuts. they got a crispy shell to them. The peanut probably don't really need it, but at the same time, somebody invented it and it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. This reminds me of that very same thing. The fact that you probably didn't really need the, the coating on this fry. But they've added it. Mm. And the crunch and the crispiness is just fantastic. But here we go. Hotheads.com. Daniel Bale. Daniel Bale's hot sauce, he sent. 
people are telling me I really need to give this a damn good shake to mix up all of the, the loveliness in this bottle. Whoa. You definitely get the garlic without a shadow of a doubt. The garlic, the, gar the garlic, the garlic comes through. Tingles the nose. It's that kind of vinaigrette base. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Some of these hot sauces have a tomato sauce base and the tomato sauce base is just incredible. What I find with the vinaigrette base is it's slightly more aggressive. Now, lots of you lovely people will love that kind of aggressiveness from your hot sauce. So it's poured a very dark, menacingly kind of red, a menacingly red colour. This hot sauce. There's a look. Look at that. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, right, let's get one chip in and then we can talk about it. I'd cook with that. I'd make a chili with that. Nowhere near as bad as that Carolina. Was it John's? John's hot sauces? Something like that. Nowhere near as bad as that. That was like insanely hot. But I can feel the back of my throat here. It's kind of on fire. Top of the mouth. top lip you can see the top lip sweating off a couple of little dabs of that hot sauce and it's making me inhale you know we do you do that Ooh, you know it's 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 really quite hot loads of garlic loads of vinegar flavors and then that carolina reaper yeah you can taste the carolina reaper Hmm. It's one of those sauces though. Actually, when you get over that first spicy hit, you can start to live with it a little bit. But well, I'm trying to be brave and live with it a little bit. Mm. Whoa. Oh, that's hot. Oh, undeniably, undeniably bold. The world's hottest pepper, savoury black garlic and a hint of sweet maple this hot sauce will shake you to the core brace yourself yeah it's hot ingredients vinegar red serrano carolina reaper roasted garlic oh it's kicking in now maple syrup black garlic black pepper sea salt that's a good one daniel Whale. that's a real good one Oh, I'd use it for cooking though, making chilies and stuff. Look at the dust and everything all over me. That's like digging in the garden. Right, rating first of all for these quite wonderful. How 
hash brown fries. They're amazing. They didn't need to be invented. But it's almost like they're the future of fries now. They are so good, so crispy and lovely. They, for me, get a 9 out of 10. I love a good fry. In the air fryer, they're superb. The hot sauce is right on my limit. It's right on my limit of comfortableness. You can just see my eyes slightly, slightly unhinged, slightly... My eyes are not normal. They're like, oof, struggling a bit. I can see I'm looking at it, you know, looking in the viewfinder. Right on my limit, bit of a struggle, but enjoyed it. <clears throat> Good cooking sauce, nine out of 10. Thank you again to Daniel Bale, who sorted us out with this wonderful hot sauce. Thank you to Iceland for reinventing the wheel with those hash brown fries, they're tremendous. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.